Hello everyone, this is Fanny. You are watching Fanny Chess Info. Today I am going to talk about reactive chemicals and chemical reaction safety. Chemical reactions often release energy. They are exothermic and produce heat. If this heat is dissipated in a controlled manner, the process is safe. Deviation in the course of the reaction or insufficient cooling may lead to a dangerous runaway reaction. The reaction heat can also be released inadequately if chemical decomposes during thermal stress example due to decay during distillation or drying or react unplanned example due to polymerization during storage of monomers so we have to be very careful while dealing with the reactive chemicals or chemical reactions in this session i discuss about five important factors to take while handling these reactive chemicals or chemical reactions the first one a right chemical in right vessel mix up of chemicals can cause violent reactions if a false chemical is added this can lead to a pressure rise so there may be a product release or even a rupture of the containment or toxic gases can be formed this also may happen if the right chemical is handled but it is poured into a wrong vessel it is therefore important to have a clearly labeled containers and filling opening as well as check the labeling before the addition hence check before adding chemicals is it correct chemical is the same name mentioned on the container and in the operation procedure is it correct container does the name of the container match the name of the filling hole second one the right amount in right order an excessive amount of chemical can overfill a vessel which may cause hazard to environment in addition too much or too little chemicals from wrong mixing ratio so that the reaction can be more severe and runaway may occur adding in wrong order can also result in wrong mixing ratios and a runaway it is therefore important to control right quantity and to monitor the filling so check before adding any chemicals ensure is the correct number of containers provided is the correct amount set at flow meter have all previous steps been taken is the order of the components are correct third one free flow in correct lines an incorrectly closed wall can lead to pressure build up and subsequently to the failure of the line through a false open wall liquid can pour in a wrong vessel or into environment the use of false hose material can lead to failure and product loss therefore it is most important to check and monitor position of the fitting on the conveyor path as well as clear training for the correct hose material and regular tests so check before turning pumps on are the fitting set correctly open or closed are the correct hoses used correct material is the correct pump used explosion proof or not next one not too warm but not too cold due to a higher temperature a chemical reaction runs faster then heat is released more quickly so that cooling may not be sufficient and a runaway reaction is caused due to a temperature that is too low a chemical reaction runs slowly then at the end of the plant time not everything is reacted and there is still reaction energy left this can react abruptly later so that a runaway may happen some vessels are combined with external coolers if the cooling doesn't work the boiling liquid evaporates and does not run back into a vessel then there is a lack of solvent therefore important to control and monitor the temperature in the container as well as to control and monitor the cooling circulation so control before and during reaction period is the right temperature set on the heating or cooling circuit is the right temperature window in the vessel adhered to that the reflex work when using external coolers 
and last one not too fast but not too slow if a component is added too fast a desired reaction may not run in a sufficient speed then at the end of the reaction period the components and the reaction energy is left if the stirring is too fast viscous chemicals can be heat up inadmissibly caused by shear energy then the system becomes too warm and reaction runs too fast it is therefore important to control and monitor the dosing speed and the stirring effect so control before and during reaction period check is the correct speed set to the stirrer does the stirrer and reaction mixer move is the correct dosing speed is set can the course of reaction be verified this is about reactive chemicals and chemical reactions safe follow this five simple steps to to handle reactive chemicals or chemical reactions in a safe manner thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and share my videos have a safe day